Glasgow. It is April the 25th, 2018. So I know I've been kind of all over the place on what I'm talking about lately. Tomorrow is the NFL draft. So I've already put this out there. I'm going to talk about the NFL draft a little bit today and tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow will probably be more so like a reaction style video to uh, whoever the Buccaneers decide to draft with their pick in the first round, assuming that they don't trade out of the first round for some crazy reason or trade back or whatever. Um, even still, you'll still get some type of reaction from me if that were to happen. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about the draft tomorrow, I really am. Um, but this video today, really uh, what I'm gonna talk about is gonna be who do I think who do I think we should draft? Who would I want to draft if I could draft for the Buccaneers? If I was the GM, if I'm Jason Light, and I could just pick, if I could choose, all right, what guy, if you could just give me any guy in this draft, who would I take? Right now, at this moment, I'd have to say it's Quentin Nelson. For me, my kind of my whole, just the way that I look at building a team has kind of changed throughout the years. And I think a lot of people are like that. So when you're younger or or maybe at whatever point in life, you may say, oh man, like I want this guy, this, this prime, this wide receiver, or this cornerback, or this, you know, this quarterback, or, uh, you know, running back, or, you know, whatever. But you really start to realize, like, it's all in the trenches, right? It's your defensive line, it's your offensive line, and if those two things aren't solid, then guess what? The rest of your team really isn't going to perform because if your offensive line can't keep your quarterback standing up, and he can't give your running or they can't give your running back a hole to run through, then it's it's really just whatever. I mean, I look at the Cowboys for example, and I look at what they were able to do with that offensive line with Zeke there, and how good they made Dak Prescott look. I mean, Dak Prescott, like, I mean, this dude, like, rookie of the year, like, they made him look that good. And then you look at him last year when, you know, the offensive line maybe wasn't performing up to the to the standard that they should have. And people could debate me all day long and say that it was because Zeke was out. You can go through all that. But I'm just saying, Dak did not look as good last year as he did the year before. So, whatever. Um, I look at the Eagles, right? They win a Super Bowl. Look at their defensive line and how well they perform, interchanging all these guys, bringing in fresh bodies. Like, it was just a constant flow. And their defensive line was really, really solid. Their offensive line was really, really solid. On top of that, they were getting the ball out super quick, right? With that style offense that, you know, whatever. Uh, why did I just go blank here? Uh, run pass option, right? Um, so... I really, again, I'm looking at the offensive line and I'm saying Quentin Nelson's my guy. That's the guy. If I can pick anybody in this draft, if it's just my ultimate dream scenario, Quentin Nelson is the guy that I want. Now, let's just say Quentin Nelson and Saquon Barkley are both on the board when the Bucks pick at seven. Now, you might be thinking, Drew, you are absolutely crazy for thinking that both of those guys, they're not, neither one of them are going to be on the board, but both of them are going to be on the board? Come on. Like I said, this is the time of year when a Buck fan can fantasize, okay? So let me fantasize for a second. They're both on the board here. Who, who am I taking? Well, I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty tough decision because I think Saquon Barkley is an absolute beast. But we're talking about an absolute, just unbelievable offensive lineman in Quentin Nelson. I mean, this dude is like generational talent. You know what I'm talking about? Like, this guy is the kind of guy that you draft and he ends up in the Hall of Fame. Okay, maybe I'm going a little bit far here. But this dude is legit. And you shore up that offensive line in a deep running back class, grab somebody later on. That's just my personal opinion. And trust me, by no means would I be upset if Saquon Barkley was our pick at number seven. I would not lose any sleep over that and I would be super ecstatic and my reaction video would be absolutely insane. So I'm not saying I wouldn't want him. I'm just saying Quentin Nelson is the dude. That's the dude. I don't know about Chubb. I don't know about these other guys. Again, 
I'm in this mode right now where I'm, I'm looking like what can we do long term and what can we do short term. I think Quentin Nelson fills both of those holes because I think he can start day one. All right. Saquon Barkley starts day one. Chubb, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't think I've seen a defensive lineman that just came into the NFL and just like, bam, like gangbusters was like making a huge impact from day one took his team deep into the playoffs. Like, I, I, I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's just not something that I've seen happen very often, and I can't remember the last time I saw it happen. All right, I'm just being honest with you. So, for me, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking at Quentin Nelson. That's the guy that I'm taking. If I could take anybody, he's the dude. All right, so let me know what you think. Now, I've heard Derwin James, but Derwin James... I keep hearing his name linked to the Bucks, and because of that, that's why I say he's not going to get drafted by the Bucks. That's just my personal opinion. Because every time I hear somebody's name linked to the Bucks, they never end up getting drafted by the Bucks. Now, the last time I heard a player linked to the Bucks that was drafted by the Bucks, it was Jameis Winston, and that was like pretty obvious, right? That was like a no-brainer. Like everybody and their mother knew that the Buccaneers were going to draft Jameis Winston, right? I don't care if he stole hundred crab legs; that was the dude. So, you know, it is what it is could have been Mariota, but nah, it wasn't happening. Not with Lovey Smith. Now, had Dirk Cutter been the head coach at that time, then yeah, I think Mariota would have been the guy. I think they would have drafted him. But Dirk wasn't the coach at the time, so it's irrelevant in this conversation. So, Derwin James at, at seven, I don't know. I mean, I guess I can see Derwin James getting drafted at seven. I still think that's a little bit of a reach, and I'm a Seminole fan, right? I have no problem with Derwin James. I love Derwin James, but at seven, I just don't know about it. I really don't know about taking him at seven. Um, I don't know. I like McKenzie out of Alabama, but I've admitted this before. I've talked about this. I'm not really following a lot of guys outside of Florida State and and out of my, out of my Bucks and, and the Seminoles, outside of that, over the last few years, I've had so much going on in my life, which is mostly what I talk about on this channel, um, that I really haven't paid attention to a lot of this other stuff. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I've, I know all this stuff about McKenzie. And I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I know that much about Saquon Barkley. I just know from what I've seen, the dude is a beast. And I wouldn't cry if we were to draft him because we obviously need a running back. But... When I look at running backs and I look at the length, how long they last, the lifespan of a running back, their value, Quentin Nelson's the guy, man. So if he drops, if he somehow drops to that seven spot, man, you take him and you run. And I know that there's a lot of Bucks fans that if Barkley and Nelson are on the board at the same time, there are a lot of Bucks fans that are going to be just flipping a wig if Barkley wasn't the one drafted, especially after last year when everybody wanted Dalvin Cook. Everybody wanted Dalvin Cook. And there were people that were upset that we didn't draft Dalvin Cook and took OJ Howard. And I'm a huge Dalvin Cook fan. I love Dalvin Cook. But you ain't passing up on OJ Howard and you don't pass up on Quentin Nelson. Now, <laughs> they're probably both gonna be gone. So this entire conversation, this entire video that you just watched was absolutely pointless. But almost every mock draft that's out there has been absolutely pointless. It's not what it's about. NFL draft is about, who knows, right? Let's dream. And if I'm a dream, I'm a dream big. So I'm gonna keep grinding, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I'm always gonna trust the process. Leave me a comment, tell me I'm crazy. Tell me who you'd like to see your team pick. I'll talk to y'all later, I am out.